we're taking you on a double adventure to Affinro and Tower of Babel. But finding the routes can be challenging and we get officially lost. And then we run into a, a special now. someone. And then another who will hopefully help us live to climb another pitch. <laughs> Our names are Chico and Moritz, and we converted a box truck into a tiny home on wheels to travel and rock climb. Make sure to subscribe to follow our adventures on the road. Today, we're so excited to be climbing Affin Row. It is a mega classic 5-7 sport climb, eight pitches on Guides Rock on Mount Cory, and we cannot wait, let's just get on the road and go. Restricted access. They closed down the road for COVID. So we'll take our bikes and bike in. So we're gonna have a good day. <laughs> okay, let's start packing our bikes. So maybe you get a chance to see how we take out our bikes and assemble everything too. All right, looks like we made it. That's the rock we're gonna climb today. And that's our objective. I really hope that things go smoothly. I'm gonna be leading some pitches. And as you all know, this stuff scares me. <laughs> I've been uh, meditating and visualizing that things will be all right. Um, so we're just gonna get geared up real quick and start our hike. Um, good thing is there's like nobody here. And I don't see any obvious people on the mountain. What do you expect will happen today? We'll have an awesome day, is what I expect. <laughs> Calf burn. This is like the steepest hike I've ever done. Oh. It's like on the far right of the buttress. Yeah. I guess the good thing is if it's short, rather if it's steep, then it's short. <laughs> We haven't even started the real climb yet. <laughs> Once you're like right below the rock, it's kind of hard to see where you're trying to go. We are officially lost. Looks like we went too far. Right. <laughs> so we gotta backtrack. Oh. All right. You found it. That's our line. Pitch one. We're gonna just get started climbing. We've got another party waiting behind us, so we don't wanna take up too much time. How, how'd that go? Yeah. Look at the view. More it's just taken off. On pitch two. Potentially three. And potentially three. That's a slammy other slammy McSlap face. <laughs> We 
made it up to pitch number five. So only four more left or two, Three more, and a bit. two more if we uh, link them. Link them yeah. Moritz wants me to link two pitches, but yeah. I get really you do freaked six, out. seven and I do eight, nine, and then we're done. Ah. Ah. Okay, we're gonna show you guys a view when we get to the top. We're making good time here. Pretty good time, yeah. Let's go. We were so fast. We started at like 9.45 and now it's noon. So two hours and a bit. How is the climb itself? So uh, rock quality is awesome, but almost too easy. <laughs> Check out this view. We've got Tunnel Mountain, this tiny one, Rundle, don't know the rest, <laughs> but the beautiful Bow Valley River below us. Was super fun. I climbed two pitches. I linked two pitches. Yeah, you linked first two. And the road drag was insane. <laughs> I had to start singing the Mulan song. Let's get down to business to defeat the rocks. Did oh, there are people climbing. I should probably stop singing. Um, but we're just gonna have some lunch, enjoy the views, and I will wrap down. We're waiting for the other party so that we're not wrapping. <laughs> so after every climb, of course, you gotta get down. So Chico is wrapping the rope through the ring. And then we can do the wrap. It's gonna take a while. I'll keep you posted. Rope! I know, it just reaches. So we might have a little special surprise for you guys. <laughs> I honestly couldn't sleep last night when I got a response. I could. <laughs> What's happening? But I'm still pretty excited. I don't know, do we, do we tell it or We're gonna do we make it a We're going to meet a special yeah. someone. This special someone has been a blasting in our household for, well, as long as we've met. <laughs> Moritz has been this person's number one fan and their jingle goes so stay tuned <laughs> Hey guys, look who pulled up next to us. <laughs> if you're not familiar with Foresty Forest, this is Foresty Forest. <laughs> you want to give us an introduction? I get nervous when I'm on camera, but sure, yeah. <laughs> I am a YouTuber by the name of Foresty Forest. I do a lot of hiking and cooking in my band around here in the Rockies. So this is, uh, this is my 2016 uh, Chevy Express. It's got a four by four conversion on it inch lift. It is a nice rig. I like it. And uh, I built all this out in uh, the Home Depot parking lot over the winter. All with a jigsaw. <laughs> it's kind of straight. So I've got a VHF radio here. This uh, is good to have in BC when you're on logging roads. You gotta call where you're going just so that uh, they make sure you know you're out there. Those trucks <laughs> On those narrow roads, it's pretty dangerous to be out there unannounced. One thing I really wanted was a bed that's just always ready to go. It's got a full kitchen and everything, so I can uh, do nice meals in here. I've got choice between a gas stove when I when I need it when electricity is low, or I can use the induction. I've also got an air fryer, a Ninja Foodie that does everything. I love it. It's a game changer. And I can power all that because I have a 200 amp hour lithium battery with a 2000 watt pure sign inverter. It's uh, pretty robust. 
I got really lucky. Somehow my roof vent just ended up right here. I didn't plan it out, but it's right over my cooking stove. That's how it works for me. And uh, I've got a 49 liter truck fridge. It is fully stocked up with lots of beer and all kinds of things. Beer mostly, that's all you need. <laughs> I've got a 10 liter stainless here, so I just have to fill that up regularly. So I've got a fat bike and everything and snowshoes. I got lots of different things so I can get out there for adventures, whatever I need. I chose van life to begin with. I was just uh, living in the city working in a factory and uh, I didn't want to pay rent so I just figured I'll live in a van instead and uh, it just helped make content on YouTube as well which uh, I enjoyed doing. But then I lost my job and I decided just uh, to come out west here because uh, I just love the mountains and everything and I got lucky. Somehow my YouTube channel took off and uh, the rest is history. I'm just uh, rolling with that. <laughs> and uh, making videos about hiking and cooking and all that so okay <laughs> before we go can you tell us your coldest night in this van uh, i've done a minus 41 night in this thing <laughs> and uh it's got no insulation or anything so that was uh, quite the adventure and uh, if you want to see that video it is on youtube on my channel my uh my name is uh foresty forest and i'm on instagram as well if you want to check that out too <laughs> All right, thank you for thank seeing you. you. Nice to meet you guys. <laughs> yeah, nice meeting you as well. So now that I've gotten a chance to relax and tone down the excitement levels from meeting Foresty, I hope you guys got to see what it was like to just live in a different kind of van life situation and definitely check out Foresty's page. He's a huge inspiration to us with his climbing, a different style of climbing. He just hikes up very massive peaks all in one day, 15 hour hikes. And yeah, he lives in a small van, he makes it work. and. It's super awesome and spacious in there too and we just have a different setup here and it still works out for this kind of lifestyle. So a different view into something similar. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, fascinating that he has, in the end he has the same luxuries as us, shower and poop aside, in his tiny van. Like he still has a full bed, he has a kitchen, he has even a stove in there with the ninja fryer. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Huh? It was so awesome. Uh, I'm gonna ride this high for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you in a, in a little bit. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the mundane. <laughs> we ran into Janet. Everybody say hi. <laughs> <laughs> she is the local ice climbing legend. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, though, she is a superstar <laughs> at ice climbing. She's just very humble. <laughs> <laughs> um, we literally run into Janet everywhere. In Ontario, in Kentucky, in Kentucky. <laughs> and now, suddenly, we see her in the Rockies. So, we're gonna go and climb McKay Roots Tower of Babel. Are you ready? So ready. <laughs> so Be bear aware, guys. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? You okay? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this thing was slippery. Are you, did you get that on Yeah, I did. You like, you like took five steps and danced to the right. <laughs> We think we start there and go this way and then up. The beauty of climbing trad. There are no bolts to tell you where to go. <laughs> it's a choose your own adventure at your own risk. Life or death. And here we have found the supposed uh, start of the climb. <clears throat> Excuse me. First pitch is a 5 to 25 meter climb. 
but it's gonna be seven pitches, trad. That's why we have our ice legend with us <laughs> to carry us up the wall, clearly. <laughs> Janet's like, I didn't sign up for this. I thought you guys were experienced climbers. That is not the same as ice. What are you talking about? I don't know rock. What's rock climbing? <laughs> it's, it's ice not when frozen. it's. <laughs> this is too warm for Janet. She's gonna have a heat stroke. I'm already heated. heated up. I'm like scorching. Some great sound effects going on there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mort. Okay, we're gonna get geared up, take a pee, and get started. Two, four. Two, four. Oh, was not four ten. Four no, ten. Ten four. Ten four. <laughs> 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 Over and up. <laughs> Climb on. <laughs> what? You're higher than me. <laughs> How is this possible? <laughs> we are at the top of pitch two and Janet's just on her way up of pitch three. How are you feeling? Good. <laughs> so far. <laughs> <laughs> so we're climbing on like this stuff and it feels pretty solid but I just don't know. I guess the only way is up. Close. Just delicately balancing. But guys, look at the view. Oh my god, is there sun? Yeah. Nope, still a video. <laughs> We're still alive. <laughs> we live to climb another pitch. <laughs> Yes, please. I'm trying to enjoy the view. Yeah, the view is pretty awesome. And bring them over. I'm just carefully walking so I don't fall over the ledge. But look, that is Lake Moraine. That used to be a big ice field, I'd imagine, in the distance, but not very icy anymore. One more pitch, guys. Yeah, and then. <laughs> and we just got up here. Surprise! Another wall <laughs> to get to the summit. Summit Tower of Babel is what we're on. I think that's Mount Babel. Look at this awesome view.
A living room in the sky. That's hilarious. It's a rock TV. This is officially the Road to Pitches living room. It's got a love seat, a coffee table. Oh my goodness. And here's our favorite part, the down climb. Switchbacks go, Lord. <laughs> All right, I better catch up. Um, holy crap. All right. 12 hours later. <laughs> 8.44 a.m. start. 8.44 a.m. finish. Nobody says anything. <laughs> You want to sign out, Moritz? Well, see you. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow, sure. Or I'll next time. <laughs> <laughs> so we fell to bed like a rock last night. But thank you so much for coming along on this adventure. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of this stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And otherwise. Get outside, spend some time with your loved ones in nature. It is so important to take some time back for yourself and smell some fresh air and spend time in the trees. So we'll see you on the next one. See you on the road to pitches. Bye. 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 We're on the road to pitches. <laughs> <laughs> no, I always say that. That's the Pokemon song. And we hope you like steak. <laughs> oh, I love steak. That's perfect. Thank so, you so and much. And then just some snacks and um, coconut milk. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> More friends. Um, Thanks. That's awesome. Yeah, you're welcome. And, and, oh, beer. We forgot the beer. Well, if you want some. some we beer. haven't seen you have um, German beer. German beer yet. It is German. Is it German? It is German. Okay. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, you guys are the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't know if you've ever had it before, but no, I find it very eating. tasty. Like, yeah. yeah, it's good. All right. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you so much.